Good morning friends and family. We are on our way up to camp. In this video you're going to see the last bit of work that we're doing on the cabin floor. Um, and then we have to close it up for winter. Uh, winter will be coming here probably in the next couple of weeks. And we won't work on it during the winter. And then we'll come back in the spring probably around April, May, depending on what the weather looks like and how much the snow melts. And then we'll pick it back up again and that's when we'll finish it, building the walls and framing it all in. So but we will, we will be milling wood. I've got it logged and I got to mill on two of them. So we're, you'll probably see video of that. We go another Okay, so if you want to continue to watch through the winter and see what we do in the winter, stay tuned. camp and my son-in-law put up a game camera that caught a huge mountain lion and so we're gonna go and see what's on the camera hang on I'll give you a quick update. So we brought more gravel in, as you can see, that's all the way around the cabin um, foundation. We have the cabin floor built and the beams are secured. So Dwayne screwed those in and we're storing extra lumber underneath here. <laughs> um, so some things that we're really happy that we did so why did we build it like this it's because the ground that we live or have here is very similar to the Alaska ground and the fact that it will heave there's moisture in the ground and so we had we built it like this for two reasons one it'll move when the ground moves and two by building the beams on top of a pier, we can easily jack and level the cabin throughout the years. So all we have to do is unscrew this from the beam if ever needed and throw some ships in here um, if we need to. The floor is secured to the beams. And so this worked out really, really well building this. As you can see, the whole floor is decked Dwayne came back up um, during the week and finished it. His splinter update, by the way, uh, they tried to surgically remove it, but they couldn't get to it because of the angle. And then it moved. And so he had an ultrasound and they couldn't actually find it. We could feel it, but they couldn't see it. So they think it's super thin, like wafer thin. And his body will just yeah, take care cool. of it. He's finishing up his antibiotics. And so that's that. This, we are caulking the floor so to make it waterproof. We've painted it with an exterior paint. We're gonna finish painting all the edges. We have to wait till it warms up because it's only 35, but we got cold weather paint. So as soon as it gets above 40, then we can start painting. We just have this little spot left and so that's the plan for the cabin today. And then we have to button camp up for the winter. So Dwayne is sealing and caulking the bigger joints. 
even though this will be sealed for the winter we're just making sure the big joints are tarped, for the tarped. We're just painting the perimeter really quick it's finally warmed up and take waiting for the caulking on top to finish drying then we'll put a, another coat so this is maybe an overkill to paint this with exterior paint for the winter it was 54 and if i didn't mention this we bought paint for cold weather so we are putting the final coat of paint all the caulking is now dry And then just to recap what we've done to get ready for the cabin, we brought in road cloth, which you can see the end of it right there. So there's road cloth all in here. There is three quarter minus. We brought in a compactor. We compacted it all. We poured footer forms, put in cinder block piers, concreted all the corners all the way around. We put some straps or like an anchor strap so that we can screw the beams to the pier to anchor them. We built the floor. The joists are made out of two by eights. Oh yeah, these beams are about eight feet apart. Those are closer, obviously. The joists are screwed to the beams. It's decked. It's painted with the exterior paint. It was caulked. And then we're gonna tarp it with this 50 by 30 tarp for the winter and then we'll come back in the spring and pick up where we left off 